Good morning, Mr. Albin Corti, or I should say now, Mr. Prime Minister, you have been elected, your party has been elected on the election on the 6th of October, so it is expecting that you will be now officially nominated Prime Minister by the end of November, early December. So since you are in Paris for several official visits, maybe you could uh, tell us, and thanks a lot that you came to the Foundation Jean Jaurès, it's not the first time, that uh, maybe your objective uh, for the beginning of your government and some maybe some messages. Uh, thank you for having me, and it's always a pleasure to come back to Paris, to Jean Jaurès Foundation. Uh, we are... Uh, uh, having negotiations with the uh, Democratic League of Kosovo to form a new government where I would be Prime Minister and where we would uh, respond to great will and desire of Kosovo people for change. Uh, this uh, will of the people has been expressed democratically on the elections of uh, 6th of October, uh, which uh, proved that Kosovo has a great democratic potential because uh, unlike many other neighboring countries, opposition can win in our republic. And this is a very good news that we have to live up to that task now by uh, having a new uh, government which will take out Kosovo from the crisis, uh, enable uh, rule of law, fight against corruption and organized crime, uh, bring uh, economic investments, uh, link education with labor markets, uh, help our diaspora to come back and become economic factor, and uh, likewise uh, improve uh, healthcare system and uh, lift people out from uh, poverty and decrease uh, inequality. On this occasion, uh, I want uh, to thank uh, France for its help during the war and peace, for security and development, and I look forward that uh, our two republics uh, increase uh, bilateral cooperation for mutual benefit. And regarding the dialogue with Serbia, I know that you have a new approach. You have probably the opportunity to share it with France, but also with Brussels and other capitals. So what about your, this approach? Maybe you can shortly explain it. Uh, in the first month in office, I plan to uh, have an evaluation of 33 agreements that we achieved with Serbia during the six-year dialogue between 2011 and 2017. Uh, we shall see how much this agreement has been implemented and with what impact on uh, uh, life of the citizens of Kosovo despite ethnicity. Uh, at the same time, I uh, look forward to meet with the successor of Ms. Mogherini in Brussels, uh, Mr. Boren, uh, High Representative and in charge for uh, security and foreign policy in order to start a dialogue with Brussels for dialogue with Serbia because uh, we cannot fail again. We need a well-prepared, principled dialogue. I can foresee that this dialogue with Serbia can start before elections in Serbia, but I cannot foresee that it can be concluded with agreement before that. Uh, what I uh, will also do even first week in office is a dialogue with Serbs of Kosovo and other minorities, a dialogue with a bottom-up approach, a democratic dialogue for development, an open social dialogue, not a closed diplomatic one, where Albanians and Serbs and others would be discussing how to cooperate uh, in agriculture, in industry, in trade, in services for mutual benefit and in this way to have a more cohesive society by using uh, economic uh, cooperation. I believe that it's uh, very doable and it's uh, such a shame that previous governments did not uh, uh, engage in this. Uh, dialogue should be like democracy, coming from below, mm -hmm. from the people where the ordinary citizens are with their everyday problems getting together to offer common solutions. 
Thank you very much, Farimin uh, Derichum, for having shared your vision and your ambition for your country and your people. Thank you as well. Merci très bien. <laughs>